So the purpose of cleaning out your undercarriage comes many different ways. For one reason, you can help lower your owning and operating costs because you push your wearable material hours out further. And then also it helps reduce your fuel usage on your machine by not hauling around as much extra dirt, debris, and rocks. So today we're gonna go through how to clean an undercarriage, first manually, and then second with a water truck or a water hose of some sort. So cleaning your tracks, it depends on your application, your underfoot conditions, how wet of a season that you're having. I would typically say at least once a week, depending on how much material is actually gathering up on your roller frame. So to clean out your undercarriage, typically you can do it in less than five minutes if you do it on a regular basis. It may take a little bit longer depending on how much debris is built up on your roller frame. You can use a spade shovel to pick out some of the bigger mud chunks and, and dirt and debris, or you can use a water hose to uh, get out some of the bigger pieces. So as you go up to clean your undercarriage and you're using a shovel or a, a smaller pick of some sort, you can start typically from the front or the rear and kind of work your way back, clearing debris out from around the idlers, around the carrier roller, if there is a carrier roller, from on top of the uh, roller frame, and then around the sprocket area. So utilizing a water cannon can typically take a couple minutes to loosen things up, it'll fall right off after that. So one of the big things when you're using a water cannon or a water hose is to make sure that you don't aim right directly at the end of the pin and push in the oil stopper because this will ultimately lead to a dry joint and causing a failure. And you also want to make sure that you don't hit any glass areas, cab, frame, just from a safety perspective. Once your machine is clean, it's good to do an inspection. Make sure your track sag is appropriate, what it needs to be. And then moving forward, it's, it's easier to clean it more often than taking a longer time to do it you know, once a month or every couple months. So this is a pretty straightforward process, cleaning out debris from your roller frame. It ultimately helped reducing your undercarriage wear.